sim racers and welcome live stream finish the work and happy hour after the work so here we are tonight i'm gonna do a competition server uh, race uh, registration i can see here starts in about nine minutes so we're a little bit early but no problems how are you guys doing it has been an incredible couple of weeks uh the channel is growing like crazy uh the uh the discord server is growing like crazy and most importantly the version 1.8 is out and um and i think it's already a great success uh we are now into a decently stable uh build of uh, of the 1.8 and we are working on the small details on the bops on uh, all those little uh things um so uh how how you guys doing how you guys doing tonight all good all good hello everybody in the chat pretty cool so ale ciao did you cannot say audio it says no uh no audio but i believe everybody else is uh, listening listening to me so let me know in english probably oh that's so probably is you want to check your your uh or maybe refresh your YouTube page, whatever. All right, cool. So, how are you guys doing? Are you are you enjoying 1.8? Is it all cool? I can see on the Discord server everything is going really great. I mean, people are have already started to spam already, so that's fine, I guess. Everything works, <laughs> or almost something like that. So tonight, tonight I'm gonna do uh, the competition server. We had a couple of competition servers uh, live streams before and uh, they went really really well up to the point that i've done a couple of podiums which means uh that uh, i'm gonna have issues probably tonight because i believe that when you know the competition server understands that you are too fast it takes you and brings you higher and higher and higher in the um you know in the, in the various servers uh, so it will probably take me and uh, put me um, higher in um, in in a in a server with uh, faster drivers, which means that probably tonight we're gonna be battling for the last place or something like that. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, but because of that, I decided that tonight maybe is the correct time to try the Honda. The Honda! <laughs> and I'm gonna even make it into a banana skin or something like that. Um, I, I hope I will enjoy it. Uh, it's it's a tricky car, but if you do your homework properly, it should be quite competitive on the at least on the uh, IGTC series. So ACC support colors, ICC color profiles for Windows calibration. Uh, I guess so. I mean, it's it's uh, it's been calibrated on on the profiles, and then if you use them, I, I don't know exactly what the problem is. Um, ranking, I don't know actually. I don't I don't know what what ranking I am. So, what it says here, CP3 driver. I know you cannot see it yet, but I'm gonna go through the stats. And see the rating maybe competition CP three. I I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. Thank you, Sandro. Yeah, yeah, we were going really well. All right, five minutes to registration. So we'll stick here for the moment. And we'll see. Uh, Dan Trotter, feel the trail breaking less in 1.8. What do you mean by feel the trail break? Trail breaking is something you do, not something you feel, except if you're meaning something different. Uh, in 1.8, I find it, and it was one of the things that we tried to do, is you can trail break much more into the turn than before. You know, when the career mode will be fixed, if you resume an event, the physics are completely messed up. I I thought that it was already fixed for 1.8.6, uh, 
maybe you want to try again but if you're saying so probably you have tried already I don't know exactly because I I haven't looked into that uh, personally but uh, I think there were some of the problems were addressed and possibly even others are into into the pipeline to, to be addressed into the next hotfix which is very soon um, in uh i don't know artem honestly i don't i don't know about that hey Zabsi. hello kirill how you doing mate uh no it's it's very effective to me honestly i can really rotate the car in trail braking so maybe you need to get used a little bit on different pressures on the on the brake pedal uh the dynamic kinetic the truck today is uh, kailami we're racing at kailami so I, I really like Kailam. It's one of the best trucks out there. Uh, lot of time shorter. There's the next hot fix to B4. Uh, lo lots, lots of bugs <laughs> usually, cutting out bugs, and uh, there are things also. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember now. I have to check again the change log we're doing. And round two, Lorenzo! Oh my god, Lorenzo, no, don't do it again. Come on, man. <laughs> Let me win. But I, I, I doubt we are going to win this time. I, I believe that it will move us up to, to a level and we'll find the, the big monsters. Hey, Vasily! <laughs> Thanks, mate. Oh, I'm, I haven't, as usual, I haven't practiced anything tonight, so as usual. And, you know, switching to the Honda, I don't think it's a very good idea. So I'm not expecting great things uh, <laughs> tonight. Um, two minutes. Come on, no, three minutes. All right. Uh, registration. Yeah. Okay. So as you might have... Um, Notice, guys, I am. I have started already posting the too long didn't watch shorter clips from the long, uh, um, from the long uh, live streams we did about the physics. I will keep on posting them uh, during this week. I might not be able to do the Friday live stream again uh, this week because I will be out for work uh, and. Um, uh, yeah, no, they want, where 1.9 memes haven't started yet. Almost there, but not yet. Not exactly yet. Uh, so I will be posting them. There are plenty more to, to post, plenty more to make. And I will be also doing the Italian one. So farò anche quelli in italiano. It's a short clip dalla lunga live stream di 4 ore, mi sembra, in italiano. Perciò arriveranno anche queste. Uh, my arms are getting better, my wrist is getting better, but still not there yet, 100%. So, as usual, takes time. Your Verdona. Which, which one is your Verdona? <laughs> uh, hey, Simone. Cool, cool. Nice to, to know. Nice to hear that. Ciao, Dario. Ciao, Dario. <ride> Esanasi, cali idea Alessio, non ti so dire Non ti so dire queste cose Queste cose arrivano solo dai canali ufficiali Uh, Immortal says, do you think someone will intentionally hit hard the curbs to lower the tire pressure if the initial pressure was too high? No, because it's it's completely not possible to judge how much pressure you're gonna uh, lose. If you have too much pressure, you won't going to lose any pressure at all. So it doesn't make any sense. And it's also risky because you might lose a lot of pressure go even always. But usually if you have lots of pressure, the tire remains you know, fixed on, on the on the rim, so you're not losing any pressure, so it's not something you can do. All right, so competition server. So refresh here, and the register. And we are registered, yeah, let's go. In game, like that. All right. 
Ah, grazie Rodrigo. <laughs> Then I have no, no 100% first feedback race yet. No, and I don't, I don't think I will ever do it. Because, you know, with 20 newton meters, it's not a good thing <laughs> to, to try this. Uh, Vasilis, no, that's not a bug. No, people don't have this kind of thing. I believe that some kind of uh, antivirus or uh, firewall or the you know native Windows uh, Defender has locked uh, your documents Assetto Corsa Competizione folder and has put all the files in there into uh, read only. And so you choose it, the game tries to to write uh, the proper values, but it's not possible for the game to write them, and so nothing changes. Uh, I highly, highly recommend everybody to put the whole Steam folder and Assetto Corsa Competizione folder and the Documents Assetto Corsa Competizione folder uh, to exclude all those folders and .exe files from any kind of antiviruses or defenders, Windows defenders and stuff like that. Uh, unfortunately, you know, every time we update the uh, the whole game, uh, the antiviruses uh, think that the, the the .exe file is changed and so it could be a, a virus and they pull out false, uh, you know, warnings and lock the folders and files and everything. So, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a problem. Uh, I can assure you that everything that comes out from uh, the um, Steam update is always co correct checked, not only from us but also from Steam. So there is no possibility that you're gonna get every anywhere ever uh, a, a virus, you know, from uh, from Steam. It's just impossible. Primary car, yes, it's uh, it's Honda. <laughs> I'm going I'm going to drive the Honda Mr. Imox. <laughs> yeah. Uh Matthew that's a a good question. I honestly do not know. I believe it just makes a generic one, but honestly I don't know. I will ask specifically Kevin about this and let you know uh possibly in the comments. Honda is stronger at Kialami. That's that's good to know. I'm disconnected. Yeah, I will have to. Probably it, it will reconnect in a minute uh, automatically, but let's wait a little bit. If I see that it doesn't uh, reconnect, I will go out and in again and fix that. Formula One Champions or Hamilton or Verstappen? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. It's a joke. Um. I'm on GT3 and also as primary. Oh my god. Oh my god, damn. I wanted to be with the Honda. Come on. I wanted to use this one. Will it let me? Uh, I have already registered. I hope it will, I will go in with the Honda. We'll see. Thanks, uh, Mr. Imox, for, for letting me, you know, for, for checking that for me. Now it should be easy selected, yeah. Damn, if I go in with the Merc, ah, I want the Honda, come on. How can be three minutes free practice used? Uh, uh, you know, you just go out and check the pressures. <laughs> I hope so here, Janus. I hope so. We will see. We will see. We will, f we will find out live. <laughs> 30 minutes with pit stop this time. Oh yeah, eight minute pit window, refueling mandatory. Oh my god. Tonight's gonna be strange. Alright, so we're almost there. So now refresh you see I connected again. Please refresh, alright. Cool. Click to join. Let's go. We're in. Let's see what car we have. <laughs> Let's see what car we have. Yeah, we have the Honda. Honda. <laughs> All right. We have the Honda. So, okay, let's go aggressive. 
uh, track temperature is low, track is green. Uh, we're gonna use low fuel, I guess. Yeah, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. We really have to do uh, at least a couple of laps in order to check the pressures and uh, feel the car a little bit. All right. Honda, it's been a while. Oh, what an engine. It's been a while I haven't been driving the Honda. Let's see what we can do. Oh, this thing is fast on the straight, really accelerates. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> now I remember the turbo lag of the Honda. Takes a little bit of time to spool up the turbos. I think they have worked quite a bit on this uh, issue on the uh, yeah, on the this generation car, which is not what we are simulating here right now. It's still the Evo, but the a little bit older car. Uh, now they have a, a development of the Evo car, and we are waiting for some data so that uh, you know we can improve this car and uh, make it worth it. And from what I know is that the car has better electronics and less turbo lag which will certainly help the car to be faster. Come on, Turbo! <laughs> so I guess it's a hypothesis. What happened with this engine is that, you know, it's one of the smallest engines. Uh, and... Uh, it's a V6, I think, 3.5. 2 liters, something like that, or 2.8, I, I don't remember exactly, but it's one of the smallest engines. And in the street car, uh, it's, a, it's a hybrid which has also, you know, um, electric engine, electric motors. So to make lots of power out of the engine, they have used very big turbos, which obviously need a little bit more time to spool up, but that's not an issue in in the uh, street car because in the meantime the electric motors are have instant response and they pull out the car really fast while the turbos are spooling up to to generate pressure right so obviously because of the rules you cannot run a hybrid car in the gt3 series and so they found themselves with a uh, homologated engine with you know big turbos and smaller capacity and so obviously there is a little bit of turbo lag while you go on the accelerator you need to wait a tiny little bit at least into this version as i said before i know that there will be they were working and the car is actually now quite a bit competitive into the american uh, series so I hope that we're going to get those data and improve the car as well. Uh, but yeah, it, it needs from you to go into the accelerator a little bit sooner in order to, you know, spool up the turbos and generate pressure so that the engine can finally... Whoa! What, what that Ferrari is doing over there? All right, the pressures are very, very good. A little bit too high at the front, but not bad. Okay, so not bad. Yeah, I guess I'm not fast enough. Do I have a... Ooh, wow. Okay, so qualifying here. Let's go down to something like this. I would raise a little bit here. Yeah, it's low. I will go some like 16. And a little bit extra here. The car is like, you know, a Lotus Elise. It's instant turn in. And then it's just understeer a little bit. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to try something. Let's see if it works. No, 
No, the aggressive setup don't really need any particular working. I mean, it, they work already for, for pretty much all the cars. You need to readjust a little bit your driving style, maybe, if you have issues. But, uh, I mean, most of the setups, as I have said, are based on real uh, setups from the real cars. Which means that if we change the physics and the setups do not work anymore, then we are doing something wrong with the physics. So, we don't change the setup. There might be some small adjustments here and there, but nothing big at all. Kurt, I believe that you need to run some track days with proper brakes and listen how much noise they do in real life, even for street cars. <laughs> Oh, it's also in the night. That's interesting. Okay, let's let's try to do that qualifying session. Oh my god. I was about to do the end of that Ferrari before. <laughs> Come on, Honda! Let's do it! Yeah, it's a little bit trickier here. I've lost the apex completely. Oh, the guy in front of me is Lorenzo, the guy that overtook me and got the win on the last uh, CP race. <laughs> we, are, we meet again <laughs> and he's fast as usual. Come on, engine! Ah, that was not good again. One forty-two, and I'm in sixth position. Oh my God, that's a fast server. <laughs> Come on, engine. Yeah. <laughs> I was on the accelerator way before. Waiting for the for the turbos to spool up. <laughs> yeah, that's how you have to do it. Ooh, dead bodies. Come on, engine. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, too much turbo lag here. I've lost it.
Oh, come on, Aris. Damn. Come on, that's... I don't have more. I need to f put that... That lap time in. I need to do it. Okay, let's go down to our traction control. One level. And try again. Ooh. Whew. Yeah, this is a car that needs lots of input to go fast. Or at least for me. No! Come on, I could have done a much better... Ah, not enough concentration today. Okay, let's, uh, let's find out how much we need to work with the pressures here. Ooh, it's getting hot. Yeah, but that was for the... Yeah, that was because of the... Of this, because I spun. So let's go down a little bit here. Not by much. Like that. And a little bit here something like this um, 2.8 so let's find out how much fuel we need And we need to add the fuel here. And we need to take care of the pre Oh, all right. Let's send it. And we start in ninth position. First guy is 141 too. Wow. I don't think I would be ever able to do something like that. But I think I could have been somewhere in the fifth, sixth position. Yeah. Yeah, six tenths of a second, I could have put them down, yeah. Um, no, don't worry about clipping, I mean, it's no big issue. So, pit window, one mandatory pit stop, refueling, we just need one liter here, honestly. I will try to do it like this, I think that I will be able to gain more time by doing a faster pit stop than if I won't spin it, because for the guys that don't know, I already have the history of spinning inside the pit lane <laughs> with another car in an older race here, so yeah. Alright, so... but everything looks quite good, I think. And uh, the car reacts pretty well. In this area. I feel it good on the damper, so yeah. Let's go! Let's do it! Let's uh, add a little bit of telemetry so that people have the telemetry afterwards. 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, 30 seconds, okay. So let's go back. Back. And... Uh, oh, it's a full lap. Full lap. I am the best Honda, that's good. I'm the best Honda. Alright. You have extra lights? Yeah, that's good. Let's go to the extra lights.
So we are in the night. That's gonna be great. can see the split number in the number of the server when you are into the uh, the main menu this is the cheap rate on I keep it stop obligatory ci sono i pit stop obligatory su un 33% delle gare non su tutte ed è random da quello che so però te lo dice prima quando ti devi registrare Yeah, I might need, uh, I might need, thanks for the advice, uh, Peck Schwartz, Peck, Peck, Peck Schwartz, sorry mate if I butchered your, your nickname, I might need to add a, a little bit more than, you know, one liter. Hi Linda! Migorbit, yes, I was speaking Italian before. We can get, uh, if there are not, uh, well, mainly we speak uh, English. Uh, if there is the occasional uh, question in Italian or Greek, I can, I can reply. Tires are a little bit cold still. All right, all right. Time to to concentrate. So I won't be reading the chat too much, guys. <laughs> Later after the race we can reply in a couple of questions. Maybe the guy that was asking, I think, why real drivers are... Why sim drivers are faster than the real drivers, which is not exactly the case. You need to take into account a couple of things. But we'll talk about that later. Now it's start time. Oh, turbo lag! <laughs> Stopped! Ah, I don't like this guy here. Ah, uh, yeah, I knew, I knew it! I knew it he was coming! I mean, it was... Oh, come on, mate, it was like... Th those guys, you, you can see them already, that they are going to just send it. And it is ridiculous that you send it in there. We are like six wide. What do you expect? Uh, anyway. Okay, let's go. I think we are last, dead last. <laughs> dead last. Who cares? If the car is still working, we're gonna fight. Let's see. Only five, six seconds of uh, damage. We might be lucky. Let's see if the car works. Let's go! That was a little bit stupid for me because I should have let them go because I was absolutely certain that that Audi behind me was going to send it 100% I was absolutely sure and it did, it did so so I should have just let them go and go through me 
break earlier and enjoy the spectacle and just, you know, navigate around the dead bodies. I mean, look at that, look at that, ridiculous. Have a little bit of thunder there. Let's see if it, uh, if the tires go up, if it will help us. <laughs> I didn't stay all the way inside because already at the start he was already a tiny bit overlapping me and I didn't want to close him because you know I was afraid but probably I should have stayed all inside I will see it again and watch it in the in the replay and try to learn from it Remember guys, it doesn't matter if you are at fault or if you are right. You can always learn from an accident. Always learn. So, even if you are right 100%, you can still watch the accident and see if you can learn from it and be in a position next time that uh, helps you. I mean, look at that. And be in a position that, you know, you can avoid the accident next time. Whoa! There was a car over there. Okay, that was clean. Yeah, you always have to be careful with the with the Honda. <laughs> Pressures are a little bit low. We can gain some positions here, S slowly but steadily. He lost it. Okay. Slow to pro sim racing. The Corvette is happening in 2024, I think, for GT3. So it's way too far away from us right now. Doesn't even make any sense to talk about it. All right, let's go, let's go. Ah, oh, sparks! <laughs> right in the face!
Oh, I had to stop. Oh my god. What happened? Dive bomb <laughs> and let's go. Man, I don't even know if I'm gonna be alive by twenty twenty four, so <laughs> what can I tell you? <laughs> Come on, car. Hey, Stefano, tutto bene? Te come stai? Too much time lost. Come on, let's go up to 15th position. <laughs> Grazie, Stefano. Come on, Turbo. Car is really good over the curbs though. Just absorbs really well the curbs. It is a little bit oof. A little bit too over steer in turn in. So I need to be careful. And then it understeers slightly at exit. I think it can be cured with a little bit of setup work, but obviously we cannot do now this. We just have to work around it. Oh, Michele is in front of us. Nice. With another Honda. That's cool. I thought he was in the chat. Let's cut that Honda! <laughs> yeah, we're up in the heart rate, we need to work hard here. Generally, it's not even the car, which it does need more work for me. Oh, pit window is open. What's out? It's eight minutes of pit window. So we need to calculate correctly Oof. let's go so I was saying generally with 1.8 I need to work more so Heart rate always goes up with 1.8, much more than 1.7, which is a good thing. Come on. Let's 
Let's cut this train. Oh, Michele goes in. Oh my god. Come on, Aris. Don't lose time now. So this is probably the first guy. I've eliminated the the repairs because the car is okay. -ish. Nice. Don't don't spin it. <laughs> don't spin it, Aris. <laughs> All right. Come on. It was almost perfect, but not perfect. In fact, Michele just overtook us. Great work. <laughs> All right, let's go. I think I can do it with the fuel. So we are trying after a disastrous start of the race, we are trying to see if we can get up to at least P10 position. I think it's possible. We don't need uh, the indicator anymore. Don't ride in the chat, guys. Okay, let's go. Concentrate.
We are already 9th position, P9. Wow, that's great. That's really cool. Now, if only we could, you know, drive a little bit better because I suck right now in driving. <laughs> that would be great. Come on, Aris. Get it together. I'm terrible right now. Lots of errors. Pressures are a little bit low. Come on, Aris. Let's go. That's how you do it. I mean, when I concentrate, I can get those guys instantly. Come on, Aris. We still have 10 minutes. We can do it. He lost it over there. Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus. What on earth happened over there? That was really unfortunate. Car on the right. On the right. Oh, uh, car is all broken. We have to go to the pits. Car is all broken. Ah oh, man, <laughs> everything is broken. Lights are broken. Everything is broken. Ah, uh, that was so unlucky. That was poor, poor bad luck, nothing else. Oh well. I have to repair, repair, repair. And suspension as well. Ah, uh, that was really unlucky. Uh. But wait. Yeah, but it wasn't even his fault. It, it wasn't fault of of uh, Michele. I mean, because I think those guys some somehow ah uh, unlucky. Well, that's racing, guys. Sometimes you're you have luck. Sometimes you you don't have luck. <laughs> Ciao, Mickey. Mick Tuning. <laughs> now we can read the chat. Yeah, we have like one minute. <laughs> The application of SA, uh, you know, safety rating is always a statistical thing.
I use uh, fan attack wheels and pedals. Yeah, we will save the replay and have a look afterwards. Ah, that's so unlucky. We were in a very, very good position. Very, very good position. Ah, damn. Anyway. Haiti and flag. I'll tell to the guys. Sure. And we're back to 16th position. Could be worse. Could be raining. <laughs> it's part of racing, guys. We're still going to finish the race. It will give us a little bit of bonus and not lose lots of uh, safety rating. And if I can stay behind the P7, it will give me the satisfaction that at least I had the pace, you know? Ooh, locking. Cold tires. Yeah. Wake up. <laughs> Slow to props him. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, I was reading I was reading the chat way too much. <laughs> okay, let's concentrate because otherwise I'm gonna be But for the other guys, which is not good. What did I just say? I don't know. Whatever. Let's focus. Nice little lock up over there. Made the car move around. I love those things. The Ferrari is a little bit in crisis here, probably all tires. not disturb too much this guy I think he's a bit under pressure
say who's that yeah guys don't forget to like spin the like button as we did a couple of minutes ago with the Honda <laughs> And uh, subscribe if you want. We are already over 30,000 and gaining. Thanks, Nicholas, for subscription. I don't want to put too much pressure to the guy. I mean, if he does a mistake in the wrong straight, I might get past him. But if not, whoop. if not, I might do the mistake myself. This car really turns like a Lotus Elise. It's really very, very similar to a, to a Lotus Elise on steroids, of course. It has that instant turn in, but then it's not so stable. It's not so stable uh, going towards the apex. You need to stabilize it a little bit with uh, some steering work. Look at that. It's really fast to go in. Yeah, the turbo kicks in then. I can't read your name, mate, but thank you for the follow. To Hutipa. Or something like that. Sorry. It's not that you lose uh, safety rating, you don't gain any bonuses. So if you have an accident, you're going to lose the safety rating from the accident. And by not finishing the race, you are not gaining any bonuses. So you do not counter, uh, you know, counterbalance the, the loss. No, the Honda is the same. The Honda has always been a pretty good car, especially on the, the IGTC series. It's a little bit difficult, so people tend to not use it. But I believe it's one of the fastest cars. I mean, it cannot win everywhere, but it can win. So it's a pity that people uh, didn't use it as much. Here we are, P14, I'll take it, disastrous race, but P14, not bad at all. No, Immortal, don't have triple monitors. P13, actually. Wow, P13. Yeah, it was an, an unlucky night. <laughs> right. All right, P13, not bad, not bad. Let's have a look at the replay, shall we? Shall we? P13 is... No, P15 in the end. I don't even understand. Let's see. Let's turn to the grass. It says P15 timetables race. 
Yeah, so that's that's where I am. People just left. Uh, uh, Reverend, we, uh, I have done uh, um, a video about the slip angle. It's uh, it's called uh, how tires generate grip. Uh, you will find all the information there. Uh, search it into the too long didn't watch uh, playlist. Uh, guys, for the flags, I have to tell you, even though I know that the subject is also very particular to some, to some of you, and rightfully so, but usually all games, you know, if they have to put different flags, they have to take them from, U from uh, UN, United Nations uh, list. And uh, unfortunately, sometimes not uh, all the uh, uh, countries that should be represented are there because they are not yet recognized by the UN or they are part of other countries. Unfortunately, you know how the drill goes. So it's not always possible to, to put other kind of, uh, of flags uh, out there if they are not you know, part of, of the UN list. Anyway, still best Honda. Yay! All right, <laughs> not bad, not bad. But I think I think we could have been somewhere around here, which would have been really cool. Um, so let's go to the replay and uh, save the replay. Replay saved. And let's go out and have a look and see what happened exactly. <laughs> Uh, Haiti, I don't know, isn't it part of the United States? I'm not too sure about that. I, I apologize in advance. I don't want to say anything stupid, utmost respect, but I, I'm just ignorant about this, so I don't know. Uh, all right, so let's go. Let's go to the gallery and replace highlights. Okay, this is it. Play. All right, so here we are, and here I am. Let's go upwards like that. All right, okay, so here we are. Let's see what's going on. Hawaii, yeah, you're right, Zef. That's that's my fault then. Oh, the first server in Black Nation of the Western Hemisphere. That's a great thing to know. Again, I apologize. I really didn't know about that. I I miss um, I made confusion between Hawaii and Haiti. So big apologies on this, and I will let the guys know that you know we we should we should put it in. Thank you, thank you so much for for letting me know. Wow, Zach, that's that's amazing to to know. I, I need to to read about this more. And learn a little bit more because it's it's not it's not good to not to not know about that that thing. Yeah, we have uh, Zeri asks: Is there a version of NSX between what we have in SEC and the future Evo 2? Uh, we have the Evo, so there was the first version, then there was the Evo version. We have the Evo version now. The Evo version. Get, got into different development stages uh, and right now it's a pretty competitive car into the American series uh, mainly because of mechanical and electronic advancements uh, nothing changes as far as I know into, to, into the aerodynamics and uh, uh, other more you know important body shape and stuff like that but the car is better in the electronics that we all know the car is a bit difficult in with the electronics. So I really hope to, to have some news about it and be able to improve it. <laughs> hey Marco, what's what's the problem? What's the problem? The direct drive, yeah, the direct drive obviously helps you understand better. It makes you more consistent, it gives you more information. Doesn't mean that you're gonna be faster. Ah Marco, eri tu dietro. Eh oh vabbè, dai. Come abbiamo detto, adesso lo vediamo e cerchiamo di imparare, no? 
All right, so that out here, because I wasn't protecting very much, and that's on me, was trying to find space over here which is correct. Now, I had a lot of spaces in front of me and I was like, you know, I don't really need to protect. I will have all the way to, to break later if needed. But he was really close. So uh, at this point that I started looking, you know, behind me on the rider, I wasn't really confident to go in front of him. It, it was, you know, I was feeling rude to do that. Uh, so I didn't really want to. So I stayed here and I was like, you know what? This guy is gonna, I think it was Marco, yeah, his name. This guy is going, is going to, you know, to break late. So I start breaking a little bit late because I had space. And he also braked correctly, but I think he released the brake pressure a little bit. And so he started going in. Now, at this point, we are one, two, three, four cars. And I see him, I see this. I have no way, no other way to, to go than to go over there. He is already here, so it's not even his fault if you if you think about it. It's not even his fault because he's obviously in front of me. He's obviously in front of me. And I think I'm going into him, you see, I'm going into him before he's hitting the cars in front of him. So probably he would have even probably made the turn. So at this point, that's all my fault. That's all my fault here. So if you if you analyze properly I am responsible for the big for the big one here and I will tell you again why. If I was if I was protecting the inside here, the Audi guy would ha wouldn't have tried to, you know, to dive bombing. So I was in fault of not protecting the inner side. And once you are here, then you, you I shouldn't, you know, release the brakes as much. Now I'm braking 100%, but it's too late. And I'm cutting into this guy. This guy is fully into my inside. So I just placed myself into a very bad position. That's the problem here. I placed myself. I mean, it wasn't that I did something extremely wrong uh, or I was at fault. But the thing is, as a good driver, you also need to learn to place yourself into a safe position. And where I am right now, it's not a safe position. I'm not in a safe position, which means that if something goes badly for me, unlucky, whatever, it means that I can cause an accident. And this is exactly what I'm doing here because he's in front of me. He's in front of me. I have no other way to go. And at, at this point, I have to, to hit him. And, and that's all of it. Now, truth to be told, we could have go went, you know, clean, all right? Uh, but that Bentley was arriving and founded us. Oh, that was Marco in the end. Okay, that was Marco the Bentley. He founded us going really slow. He was that, just doing his his line here. Let's see Marco here. Yeah, he's just okay. He's a little bit too fast. He's a little bit too fast. But it seems that he was able to do the line. He just found us way too slow. And he just touches me and I was already in overstating. Bullshit start. So, as you can see, it is important to always have a look at the accidents. I know you guys might be angry, whatever. It doesn't matter. Don't be angry. You're not, you know, playing for the World Championship or whatever. Watch the replays again and learn from it. You can always learn. What I'm learning here, protect your space by all means, because if you don't protect it, you give the other drivers the opportunity to, you know, to dive in, to, to do things and make every, the whole situation uh, worse and more, more difficult, you see? So if I'm going there, I cannot pull the braking zone for him. He's way too away. So it's, I'm, I'm just finding myself into a very bad position. That's it. I'm finding my, myself into a very bad position. So, remember, shit happens. You might be at wrong. You might be at right. Doesn't matter. You can always learn something. Uh, so this is the start of the race. Okay, let's move on and see what happened here. And see at the second accident. Oh no, the second accident was somewhere around here, I think. Right.
Let's see where was this. Lap 12 was the accident, right. Okay, so here's what happens. So these guys are fighting. And I'm getting all the great opportunity. Oh my god, look at that. This is as unlucky as it gets. Ha! <laughs> look at that. So Michele goes over the curb because this is this is this is the sim simulation effect. If that was real life, Michele would have never go over over that curb, right? He he would have you know raised the foot way before it, you know, and he would would have put himself into a safe position. Obviously, he would have probably lost two places or one place, but he would have never put himself into that bad position. So, Michele just, you know, it's okay. I, I'll take the risk because obviously you don't die in sim racing. And uh, he went over there to not lose his momentum. And he just lost the, completely lost the car because I believe he also probably uh, started braking. So, let's go over there. Look at that, that was really unfortunate. Now obviously he's cutting. Yeah, he just... He j so what happened is that he had to raise his foot from the accelerator, you know, but he was already over the curb. And being over the curb, just switch and straight into the uh, developer of the game, uh, YouTuber live stream and administrator of the Discord uh, server where Michele is always present and now we will ban him forever! <laughs> alright, alright. In his defense, the guy in front of him waved, but in reality, he, he was probably following the, um, you know, the racing line. Let's, let's have a look. Hey, Goblet! <laughs> Ice cream fan, thank you so much. Why not community race? We will do it uh, tomorrow, maybe. Yeah. Maybe you can do it tomorrow, community race. Ah, uh, he went a little bit. That was, yeah, that was one of those, one of those moments where you think, you know, oh my god, why is this happening to me? It's, it's this one of these uh, shit moments. <laughs> I mean, look at this. How unlucky can you get? Vroom! Punk! Zdonk! Poink! <laughs> oh, that was really bad. That was one of these worst, very, very hard crashes. That's okay. That's okay. Tristan, Tristan, thanks for the follow. <laughs> ah, Sam, you just ran in the, uh, in the rain. That's cool. <laughs> oh my god, this guy also didn't have a good experience <laughs> with the Ferrari. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> Not a good experience. I, I think this guy with the Ferrari was like, the, the fucking Hondas, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, uh, Jesus. That was, that was, yeah, that, that was it. <laughs> yeah, it, it that was one of the, you know, Obvious uh, racing accidents. The definition of racing accident, but that's life. What you can do. Let's have a little bit of a look and uh, you know try to to reply to a couple of your questions. <laughs> to be fair, Ferrari gets five places <laughs> because ignoring double yellows. <laughs> oh my god. But it was fun, and truth to be told, the, the Honda was qu quite good. I think I could have, yeah, as someone said in the chat, I could have been somewhere in the top five without any stupid accidents and unlucky uh, and bad luck. But uh, yeah, maybe we can try it again. Try it again. Maybe, you know, work a little bit on, on the setup. I would like to participate. Actually, I have registered a team, even though I don't have any, any uh, co-pilot right now, co-drivers. I have registered a team and got invited by Racing Club International uh, for the Zardier special, Christmas special race here at Kaya Lamy uh, in uh, not this Sunday, but next Sunday. 
So I have to train a little bit and practice uh, with the uh, uh, with the Honda. I'm not sure if I'm gonna make it to to participate because many things have to come together, you know, and everything. Uh, but you know, I could I could try to improve a little bit with the Honda and see if I can you know stay decent and make it uh, and make some good performance for that you know very fast uh, grid that is going to happen on this our dear uh, uh, Christmas special. Yeah, uh, I, ha I haven't played, uh, I haven't done any races on the LFM low fuel uh, motorsport. Right, they are doing some great jobs. Uh, we should talk about that, but I did the seven laps needed, so I should be registered now. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah, HPD Honda performance drive can help me make a setup. That would be nice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao, ciao Marco, ciao, grazie per la gara, ci vediamo la prossima volta, cheers. I, I will try Roberto, I will try to do a couple of uh, races over there, I think they are doing a great job. So, uh, since we're here, let's have five minutes and uh, explain. Uh, yeah, Christmas Enduro on our community, yeah, Gopne, that would be nice. Gop, Gop telling the truth, yeah. Uh, ciao Jose, ciao. Um, so why sim races are always faster than real races? Lack of uh, fear? Well, not really. I mean, all you know, all real races don't ever think about you know fear, death, whatever, and risky shit. They just go for it. Um, but big, big differences. Sim races can train infinitely with an infinite amount of setup tweaking no issues at all they can do it for as much time as they can do as they want and they can do it on the exact same ambient track uh, car conditions tire conditions every uh, every time okay real racing and in particular we're talking about gt3 racing here's how it works the professional drivers, which are the fastest drivers, right? They go into the circuit. The mechanics put a setup that they know it works, okay, into the car. They put an old tire set into the car and they send out the professional driver to do a couple of laps uh, into the green track and make sure that everything works, the car reacts properly, there are no big issues, etc. And that's it. That's it. They do literally five to ten laps and that's it after that the car has to go to the gentleman driver or the least experienced professional driver whatever it is and he has to take its time uh, with the car uh, so that he can learn the setup the tires and so on and also they also need to uh, take care to, to not consume the car and the tires because the tire sets are limited okay after the practice session, they go into the qualifying session, which they have to start with good fuel and one of the used set uh, tires and then change it at the end. Okay. And they have to keep on lapping for 20 minutes. They cannot just, you know, put uh, five liters in, do a hot lap, go out. No, the, the rules say that they have to, uh, you know, lap for 20 minutes with the same fuel. They only can change the, uh, the tires at the end of the steam, something like that. And that's it for the qualifying. And the pro drivers are told like, hop into to the car, the car it is as it is, and do the qualifying. That's all you get. And heaven forbid, if you, you know, do an error and you spin the car and you destroy the car, this means you, know, you are fired, no questions asked. So the pro drivers have very very limited uh, amount of time into a track that they haven't practiced before okay uh, with limited tires uh, set up not suited 100% to the driving style or the conditions or whatever okay so they need to take care of all of that uh, aspects uh, and they just have to go for it while in the meantime 
know that they cannot do any errors because um, if something happens to the car, you know, the race is the next day and not in the qualifying day. You don't get any points for qualifying. Um, on top of that, you have to always put in uh, the ambient conditions that they are usually strange and usually hotter or colder or whatever. Uh, while again, as I said, the sim racers they will go down to as cold uh, conditions as possible to get more power, more downforce from the density of the air. Uh, now they cannot do it as much in the Seto Corsa as before. They have to stay somewhere around 20, 15 degrees, something like that, because otherwise we are now. Uh, simulating dew and humidity which means they will get uh, slower if they go very very down uh, with the uh, tired with the um, ambient temperature but as said the problem is that they can do infinite amount of laps into an infinite amount of, of uh, setup uh, tweaks try asking your mechanics to tweak a little bit the setup every time you go out you see what kind of you know bad uh, words you, you're gonna get from your uh, from your mechanics it's it's not that easy um. pro teams is it's pretty much the same uh, the amount of time is limited there are no testing there's nothing like that you cannot change the setup the setup have to suite all drivers you know and the, the tire sets are limited as well. And if you have a driver, uh, if you have three pro drivers or four pro, dri pro drivers, right, right, it's not like that in 30 minutes of practice or 60 minutes of practice, you're gonna let uh, one pro driver do all the amount of laps that wants to do to, to be faster. You have to, you know, share the car between all the three drivers. So again, their time on the car is very limited very limited it's nothing i mean even if you even if you say okay i will get my pro driver and let him do 60 minutes of practice full 60 minutes of practice session okay still you don't have infinite amount of time to tweak the setup because every time you stop the car to tweak the setup it means 10 minutes you know loss you have to raise the car tweak the things it's not instant as it is in the simulator uh, and again you have to deal with the car in different conditions every time you are testing it while again sim racers have infinite amount they are doing thousands of lap uh, of laps and they are doing thousands of uh, setup tweaks and they have infinite uh, tire sets and even most importantly they deal with the same conditions on the tires, on the car, on the ambient, on the track, every single time. This is very important because it, they can produce incredible amounts of muscle memory, uh, you know, to, to deal with the, with the car uh, performance. Twenty twenty two. We are still in twenty twenty one, mate. So. <laughs> Hey, grazie, first pano, first Yes, uh, Nicolas, it's 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 really shocking. <laughs> I implement full hardcore mode. We did it once, and we got so many uh, refunds that we will never do it again. I believe. Uh, come faccio mostrare il mio battito core sul monitor? Uh, c'ho un, you know, c'ho c'ho una. Uh, una banda di, di, che, 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 che misura il, il battito cardiaco e lo collego eh, sull'iPad sull con eh, Pulsoid si chiama l'applicazione e Pulsoid poi ti permette di aggiungere dei widget su OBS su Streamlabs Hey Carl, all good, all good Why you can't see glowing uh, uh, break disc by online opponents. Not so sure. I thought I thought it was possible. Let's have a look. Uh. <laughs> I 
Isn't that a glowing... No, that's a glowing... Uh... Let me check. Yeah, it doesn't show. Um, not so sure. Let's let's see at the at the end of the uh, at the end of this long straight with where the you know the break distance is really long. Let's have a look here. Mm, yeah, it doesn't show. I will check. I thought it was visible before, right? So probably something would change. I will ask the guys. The you know the. 3D artists and graphic uh, engine arti uh, developers. We'll see about that. Okay, guys. So, uh, what time is it? It's uh, what time is it? It's 70 minutes past eight, which means tomorrow it's uh, holidays here in Italy, which means it's time for lasagna and a good canty or something like that. So. <laughs> This is where the um, <laughs> the live stream ends tonight. Possibly we're gonna do another one tomorrow. We won't be live streaming on Friday because I will be away for for work, uh, so I won't be uh, here in the office, as we say. Uh, so yeah, see you next time. And as usual, check the channel, subscribe, hit the bell because I am posting all the too long didn't watch shorter clips from the long. Uh, um, from the long uh, live streams about the physics so all those uh, long uh, clips are you know being posted uh, during this week and next week possibly and um, yeah see you next time bye oh my god I've lost I, I wanted to show to the guy the application about the heart rate monitor and now I've lost the Streamlabs Streamlab decks. So where it is, here it is. And professional YouTube streamer pushing buttons. Yeah.